Okay, so let's get started. Uh, first, just looking at those sweetness scales just to kind of orient ourselves with the terminology that are used at the WSET level, and these are very similar to the quartz uh, scale as well. At the level three uh, and level four, they're pretty similar. Dry, off dry, medium dry, medium sweet, and sweet, although at the level three, they also have luscious uh, that they've added onto that. Now with the diploma, they have taken away the luscious category and have just lumped it all together with sweet wine. Um, probably sometime in the future, they may do the same for level three um, but mostly today, we're just going to be looking at the dry off dry, the mediums, and then the sweet category. Uh, those luscious wines, we won't really be talking about today, but those are going to be those those stickies, those rather Glen Muscats, uh, Tokai Essenzia, those really sweet kind of syrupy wines, and some of them fortified. We won't be talking about those today, but we'll be looking more at, uh, you know, the regular still wines. So an area that a lot of people have trouble with is actually in this dry off dry uh, range. And the reason for this is that a lot of wines, especially ones that are in a warmer climate, tend to have you know, riper fruit. And the thing is, is that in our, in our minds, we always associate eating a piece of fruit with sugar. So when we experience some of these fruity aromas and flavors, we might be perceiving a wine has sugar in it when it actually doesn't. Or if we're aware of that, we may say, oh, this wine doesn't have any sugar. I'm just being fooled by the ripeness. So this is kind of an area where even students at the level four diploma can have trouble. 